All right, so welcome everybody to our 2022 Sakai Virtual Conference. Very excited to welcome you all to our event today. And it's actually going to be a two-day event this time. We're having some post-conference workshops tomorrow as well. So um, two great days to learn lots of cool stuff and play games and get prizes and should be a fun time for all. So um, let me first start off with thanking our sponsors. Obviously, uh, we couldn't pull all this together without them. So a big thank you to Learning Experiences, Longsight, Blonde Inside Networks, um, EDF, LAMP Consortium, and Warpwire. All of these uh, sponsors were generous enough to help support our event um, and provide things like our meeting rooms and swag that we sent out to attendees and um, also uh, sponsoring a, a large portion of the registration fees so that we could have a reduced registration rate. Um, all of the money that is raised um, through the conference goes back into Sakai development. So um, it is funds that will go toward making the product better for everybody. So again, a big thank you to all of our sponsors and um, we'll be uh, and we'll be thanking them again throughout the day, but <laughs> we'll start off with a, with a good uh, thank you to them. So speaking of conference swag, um, you did have your choice of item when you registered. So you got to pick either a t-shirt, a mug, or socks. If you already registered like several weeks ago, you probably already have your swag. Um, in fact, let me, I didn't turn on my camera here. Let me um, share my webcam real quick. I am actually... Uh, webcam. All right. I'm actually wearing my uh, t-shirt today and I've got my, my mug as well. So I don't know if you can, oh, it's the virtual, there we go. Um, virtual background was blocking out my mug. Um, so cheers and uh, hopefully you received your swag already. If you haven't yet, um, it usually takes maybe one to two weeks between the time you register and the time you, to, you get your stuff. Um, it could be slightly um, delayed in shipping because of um, U.S. Thanksgiving uh, next week. So, um, so by the end of the month, hopefully, if you just registered in the last few days, you'll get your stuff. Um, if you registered last week, you'll probably get it at the end of, of this week, I would think. A lot of the um, little reminders were saying that they should arrive sometime between the 17th and the 23rd, I believe. So anyway, um, you should be getting those soon. And uh, a new thing that we have available now on our website, on the SakaiLMS.org uh, website is we have a shop where you can buy Sakai merchandise. A lot of times people will ask me, can I get an extra mug or t-shirt for one of my coworkers? Um, where can I buy, you know, a Sakai sweatshirt? Um, so we have Sakai merchandise available now. And um, if you wanted to make a custom order, you can certainly do that. Um, again, any proceeds go back to the project itself. Um, it's not a big money maker for us, but it, it is kind of nice having swag. So um, if you would like something, and we have a few items that are available in the shop now that are brand new, um, that uh, we're, um, they're a little higher priced, so we're not sending them out to everybody, but, um, but we could potentially give them away as prizes. So we've got some zip up hoodies. Um, we've got these really nice stainless tumblers that are out of stock right now, but when they come back into stock, um, those will make some nice um, prizes for people at, at some of our events. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the, the merch page, you'll see the Sakai um, virtual conference swag with the, the conference logo on it. Um, so those are all the way at the bottom of the page. And then we just have kind of some, uh, some standard Sakai logo items. So about the conference, um, just some general tips. So all of the presentations will be recorded and um, the workshops as well. Tomorrow we're gonna record those. They will be posted afterward. You'll get an email letting you know when you can get to those recordings. Um, they'll be posted on the Sakai YouTube channel. So that will be available for folks afterward in case you miss a session or would like to watch something again. Um, during the sessions, uh, we do ask that you keep your microphone and your webcam muted when you're not presenting. So if you're presenting, obviously you want to have both those turned on or at least the audio. Um, but uh, but if you're just in the audience, um, you know, let's keep the, the background distractions to a minimum. So we want to keep those turned off. Um, we also recommend that you use a headset and microphone um, just to cut down on the um, chance of getting audio feedback. 
um, because some of our sessions are actually birds of a feather. You know, we expect people to talk. Um, it's not just a standard um, presentation with only one person speaking. So um, we do expect that you will be turning on your microphones at some point. Um, so if you have other questions, there's an attendee FAQ in the website. Um, you'll see it there under the conference information section. So you can check that for additional details um, about uh, frequently asked questions that we usually get. So we've typed it all up. Um, I'd also like to point your attention to a quick poll that we have um, also in that section to let us know if you plan to attend either of the um, Zerte or Materia workshops tomorrow. So we didn't do a separate registration for those because we just thought it would be easier just to you know give people access if they're registered for the conference. But it would be nice to have a head count so um, that we know exactly how many people to expect. So if you know for sure that you're going or not going um, and you want to fill out that quick poll that'll give us an, a good idea of how many people we can expect in those workshops tomorrow. Uh, I also want to remind everyone about the scavenger hunt. If you've not had a chance to do that yet, you've still got time. Um, I did take a quick peek this morning. I saw several folks had done their scavenger hunt pages or were working on them at any rate. So um, we are going to be voting on those throughout the day. Uh, so you'll get to pick your best uh, or your favorite pages to um, to be up for a prize and you can vote for up to three people but you can only submit your vote once once you submit it it kind of it's saved it's not going to let you resubmit and change your vote so just make sure that you choose wisely and you might want to wait until a little bit later in the day in case anybody else is still finishing up their page um, we do ask that you have everything posted before 3 p.m. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously if you're posting your page at 3, there's not going to be a chance for many people to see it. So um, so you want to get that out there early so that people have a chance to look for look at it and vote for it, hopefully. And we'll be announcing the winners um, during our wrap up session at the end of the day. So um, so do remember to vote um, before that uh, wrap up session today. We do have a really great schedule planned for you guys. So after our welcome here, that's about to wrap up in another couple of minutes, um, we'll have two concurrent sessions. You can either go to my um, Birds of a Feather Sakai Model Course Exchange session, which is geared more towards instructional design folks and faculty, um, or you can go to Earl's technical talk on 10 tips for optimizing Sakai. That's better for some of your uh, developers, system administrators, technical staff. Um, so you'll get your choice of, of session there. And then we'll roll right into our first round of lightning talks. Um, so we've got three rounds of lightning talks throughout the day. And those are some fast paced sessions where we'll have a quick presentation, a little bit of time for questions, and then move right into the next one. So you should be able to get a lot of information really fast. Um, and then, of course, our featured session from um, the Daniel Marino at uh, at uh, University of Navarra in Spain. Um, so he's going to be talking about some of the Spanish uh, improvements that are planned for Sakai. That should be a really interesting session. Um, we'll have our trivia break during lunch, um, some more lightning talks, a couple more birds of a feather, and uh, one is going to be on lessons templates, sharing ideas from those. Um, hosted by Julianne Morgan. She's going to facilitate that discussion. And then Josh is going to um, facilitate a roadmap discussion on technical um, aspects, what types of technical debt we should think about, um, you know, getting rid of and in the priorities there. So that happens at 1.30. Our last round of lightning talks is at 2.20. And then we have our, our wrap-up round where we'll, we'll announce the winners um, from trivia and from the uh, scavenger hunt and then at, at 350 we have a really cool escape room activity planned um, it should be very interactive and it was designed um, using Xerti, the um, course content creation tool. So um, if you're interested in seeing an example of some of the creative things you can do with Xerti, or you just want to have fun solving puzzles and interacting with your attendee um, team players, um, join us for the, the Sakaiger escape room. We need to save Sakaiger from the zombie virus. So, um, so that happens at, uh, at 350. 
so that is today's schedule. Um, and I uh, hope you guys have a great conference day. And I will let you make your way over to the first um, set of sessions. And those start at, um, at 920. So you've got about 10 minutes in between to get to the next um, session and maybe grab some coffee or um, you know, get settled for, uh, for the rest of the presentations. So thank you all for joining us. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon.